Sunday, May 23rd. We left camp about 7.15. The birds are waking us up earlier. <laughs> I didn't even set an alarm. It's gonna be warm and muggy. I can tell already. And uh, it was warm enough to leave one of my vestibules open last night for some air. So, definitely warmer. So we're doing 13 today. We could make it all the way into town, but there's no reason to. We'll just spend extra money. We have to pick up a package tomorrow. It should be delivered by then. I ordered some jelly. My Luco tape should have already been delivered. Plus, we want to send home or send forward some gear, some of the heavier winter stuff. So I got a few things I want to send. And I want to get my rain pants sent. Uh, I haven't worn them very much. And with it warmer, I don't think I'll need them. But I might get a kilt if they have it in town. So we'll see. Uh, we're going to have more intervals today. Lots of ups and downs. We already came up uh, up. So, not sure what's in store. I don't think there's a whole lot today. So, you never know. Let's get to hiking. You don't see these very often. There's another one. Rare sighting. At least for us. Thank you. Finally saw a bloom on one of these mayflowers. So this is the abandoned McQueen's Knob Shelter. Coming up on the Abington Gap Shelter. We will most likely go into town. It was uh, 10 o'clock back at our break spot and we we're already over halfway done. So we're gonna get to the spring and make a decision. That's like, oh, well, by now it's probably five something in front of us. But instead of a three mile Nero, It'll end up being a zero. So, that'll give a chance to reassess Dan's knee. Hopefully get some cream for it that Jerry Parker mentioned while we're in town. So we shall see. So, plan is changing a little, I think. Oh, those stupid bugs are out. If you stop, they just like swarm you. I gotta check and make sure I got enough bug stuff because I think it's gonna get worse. I'm in a relatively flat section, so I thought I'd address a question or a comment that one of my subscribers had. Terry, uh, he was asking to give a little more detail on the hostels that we stay at. So I thought I'd uh, just kind of summarize the Boots Off Hostel. We stayed in the tiny cabin. I was in the top bunk. It was just big enough. There was enough electrical outlets to charge things. And uh, there was a refrigerator in there. The hostel itself, when we came in, the guy that checks you in was not real helpful. I had to ask about a lot of things. It's not like he volunteered information. And then even some, I had to ask other people. So he could do a better job welcoming people into the hostel. The atmosphere at the host uh, hostel was good. That's the Boots Off Hostel. I liked it. I liked the artwork. And it's close to the lake if you do want to go down and swim. It's not that far to walk. They do have a shuttle that goes into town once an evening. 
takes you to McDonald's Subway. I think there's a Dollar General. But Sue came and met us, so we didn't have to worry about that, which was nice. We went out to that nice Mexican restaurant. Oh, I got a hill coming, I think. So overall, I like the place. I like the showers. It was uh, a lot of hot water, which I like. And I like the artwork. Uh, there was a porta potty over by the cabins, which was nice and convenient. And they had a hand washing station. And then the there was a flush toilet near the uh, shower area, separate uh, building or a separate small bathroom. So overall, I did like Boots Off. In case you're thinking about stopping there, you get in this rhythm while you're hiking, and I don't know where the ruins were. They were a quarter mile back. I didn't see them. And then we got to this junction. Uh, that's how I knew we passed them. So there's a, uh, a milestone coming up in a way. 1.3 ahead. We leave Tennessee for good. So it'll be another state down. And then three miles ahead is that pipe spring that uh, we were going to camp out. And we'll still talk about it, but... Uh, I think we'll push on after we get water and have lunch. So, yeah, you just kind of get in the rhythm of the trail. We are here, our last step in Tennessee. Damascus 3.5. Tennessee, Virginia, state line. So Virginia is a very long state, over 500 miles, probably 550 or more. I am stepping over into Virginia. Oh. I got to do 460 some miles in Virginia. You got to do almost all of it, huh? Yeah, you got 500 yeah, some. Got 500. I see the far point that goes out to you. Oh, I don't remember these. Yeah. Is they're beautiful. Yeah, they are. Is it? It's a really nice feeling getting into Virginia. Now it's all countdown to Waynesboro, so, wow, well, but 460 some odd miles, it's still 460 some odd miles, and we're not quite doing 100 a week, so, five weeks, maybe six, probably the fourth week of June, possibly, We'll see. So we are heading into town. We decided we'll try to find a place to tent and maybe catch a shower. And then tomorrow we'll go to the Lady Dies for two nights. Monday will end up being a zero. Tuesday we're gonna slack pack. And then Wednesday we'll start hiking from grassy field road or something like that. So we got a plan. So today's hike will be closer to 15, somewhere between 15 and 16, I guess. All right, we got to figure out what we're sending uh, forward or back to the houses. No, we need to pick up our packages. So that'll be our day tomorrow. We're coming out of the woods and into the town of Damascus. And here's the town park. Welcome to Damascus. I know, it looks refreshing.
all in the same boat. <laughs> Found the artist that's doing this building. What's your name? Crystal. Nice to meet you. Nice You're doing you. a fantastic job. Uh, Buffalo area, and he's from, I always forget, East, Eastern East. New York. <laughs> Between Albany and, and New York City. Some place that has food. Eight to eight. All right, we're trying to find a hostel called the place, which this is it. So we need to find out if we can camp. Looks like you gotta leave here. Oh. I'm gonna drop my pack. Yeah. This is the tent place on the side of this building. We can go as far as that sign over there and to the edge of this pavilion. We can use the pavilion, but you can't cook under there. Oh, showers inside of here. And it's donation based. So I would give at least ten dollars, if not twenty. This is the shower. Regular shower. And we got stuff to use, so that's good. So this is the kitchen. Basically, if you wash anything or use anything, you wash it. You put it in the strainer. And then he'll take care of putting it in the bleach later to try to sanitize everything. So not bad. This is Crazy Larry's. Hey, there's Echo. There's a coffee place, a subway. And I think we're gonna go across. The food place. Trails. Trails Grill. And this is what we're gonna try for dinner. I'm going with a salad, a burger, and they didn't have tater tots, so I gotta have the fries. And there's a Swiss burger over there. Can I get some more ketchup? We finished our dinner, we're heading back. I bought me some chips and tea, and I picked up my Luco tape. The jelly's not there yet, nor is my pole. So now I gotta call Big Agnes tomorrow. Mm -hmm.